What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the commentary video. I has not done one of these in a very long time. Um, I just, I, honestly, I don't even know what you guys are watching right now. I literally just turned on the mic, and now we're here, and we're talking, and it feels good. Haven't done one of these, like I said, in a while, so I wanted to uh, just kind of go over some things. First and foremost, I wanted to, I, I tweeted it out today, but I wanted to shout it out here on the main channel, too. Um, I just made a playlist for some Clash Royale videos. I, I, I play Clash Royale all the time, um, and I've been uploading some content over to my second channel for it, and people have been really into it over there. Um, but with things on the second channel, you know, sometimes I have to let people know on the, on the main channel here what's going on. So there's a playlist in the description if you guys want to click on that. I've uploaded like three of those videos so far, and um, I plan on continuing to upload Clash Royale because uh, I play a lot of it, and why not, you know, if you guys like it. So if you guys want to check that out. Uh, my second channel has been kind of dormant for a while, to be honest. I, I kind of lost my... Um, uh, my inspiration, I guess, when it comes to Let's Plays, when it just, you know, the the ads on YouTube being worse and everything, and uh, just my viewership being a lot lower, it, you know, anyways, it's it's hard to keep up with um, with Let's Plays as much, but I really want to. I've been, I've been trying to beat Wolfenstein. I've been working on that for so long, but I really plan on beating that eventually. I've had so much issues, too, uh, with Wolfenstein, because there's so much, like, Nazi imagery and Nazi is in the vocabulary a lot like in the in the game commentary a lot and uh, The commentary is like one of the main things that you'll get picked up on um, But also just like I mean, it, it's a pretty graphic game and there's lots of Nazi and Nazi stuff and, and you know Hitler and killing Nazis and Weapons and stuff obviously so I've had like a lot of demonetization oh God, issues with those episodes That's another thing that's kind of deterred me from it a little bit And that's the unfortunate thing the games that I really like let's playing are like super graphic gory Violent games and that's just not what YouTube's into right now uh, But I plan on on finishing that and I've been keeping up with that oh, okay. somewhat uh, So yeah, the second channel has been kind of uh, off I don't know off track and, and I really want to get back on track over there but uh, anyway, so that's what's going on over on the second channel. Um, I'm actually heading to L.A. here in a couple days. Uh, heading out there for the Black Ops 4 reveal, I believe. Joel Buddy Epic and my brother, my brother Spidey. Uh, they're also going to be out there, and we plan on uh, we plan on doing a couple things out there. I might try to do like some vlog type footage for you guys and get something like that up. I, I miss doing the the vlog videos on my trips and all that stuff and. I mean, honestly, just the travel season's been kind of over with, but it's it's starting to pick up here again. I've already got a, a few things um, on my schedule, so I uh, hope you guys are into that. I'm looking forward to E3. I've been invited to a couple of the conferences so far, uh, the Bethesda conference and the Xbox conference. So I'm um, looking forward to those. I think there's going to be big news. There was just a leak not too long ago on, like, the Canadian Walmart or some shit. I don't know that uh, Gears 5 is supposed to be a thing. And so I'm really interested in that. If you guys, if you guys know me, you probably know that I'm a big Gears of War fan. So, looking forward to seeing stuff about Gears at E3. I was lucky enough to get invited out to the Coalition for Gears 4 and be able to play the multiplayer of that early before the game came out, and that was like amazing. So I'm like crossing my fingers that there's good news at E3 about the next title, and also that I might be able to get invited out and hopefully play that because I just. I love Gears. I know most of you guys don't even care. You're like, shut up. But um, the Xbox experience or like the Xbox uh, showcase, like the press reveal and everything is a really cool thing to be a part of. And so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm actually not 100% going to E3 yet, but I'm really hoping I do. Uh, because like I said, I am invited to some of the, the, the Bethesda event and the Xbox event. So, yeah, I've got another cool trip coming up that I can't quite talk no! about yet, but uh, I get to do something IRL that I think is going to be really interesting and that you guys might be interested in, too. So, that's really cool. Here on the main channel, uh, man, there for a while, I got to where I was basically just uploading Fortnite wins. Like, I was streaming Fortnite every single night on Twitch. And I was just oh, taking my wins and uploading them to YouTube oh, as content. Oh, and as of recently, it seems oh, like those have really, really, really fallen off. Like, people just aren't really interested in seeing Fortnite wins anymore. Probably mostly because anybody and everybody can get a fucking win on Fortnite. Like, it's not a hard game to win. And uh, I don't know. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do with the main channel right now, to be honest. Because 
I was really, really, really into Fortnite, and I'm just not quite as into it anymore. Like, I don't hate the game or anything. There's a lot of things about the game that just really annoy me, and I just haven't been as into it as much lately. I've been trying a lot of other stuff. Uh, I've been playing Far Cry 5 a little bit, and honestly, I need to get back on that because I had a lot of fun just with the little bit that I did play. That game's a lot of fun. Um, and I've just been trying like all the other because there's so many other battle royales that are just coming out of nowhere And I've been having fun just trying those out and kind of showing them to you guys So you guys can form your own opinion, you know, whether you want to play it or not if it's free to play if it's a paid game Was it worth it? Blah 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 So I've been having fun with that battle royale is still like a really fun genre uh, to me, but uh, You know, we, we've seen a lot now and, and some of the stuff that's been out for a while is kind of getting stale to me and i'm excited to see what's going to be like i said you know like at e3 and all that good stuff um i highly expect both black ops 4 and whatever the new battlefield title uh to have some sort of iteration of battle royale and then you got some nerd in the back you mean free for all it's been around forever <laughs> uh, no not free for all not not a 12 player 16 player match whatever the fuck it is on a little tiny map free for all game but you know, with respawns and everything, but actual Battle Royale. I really think that there's going to be some sort of version of Battle Royale in both the new Call of Duty and the new Battlefield. And I'm excited to see what those are. You know, I know there's a lot of haters that are just immediately going to be like, oh, you know, it's just AAA trying to milk the whatever, the, the craze. But uh, honestly, like, we really haven't even seen a AAA company dip their balls into a Battle Royale game. I guess you could kind of call... You know, Epic Games, I mean, it's probably pretty AAA, actually, now that I think about it. But, like, I guess I mean, like, one of the main developers, you know, um, like the people that make COD and the people that make Battlefield and all that stuff. I I'm anxious to see kind of, like, what they can do. Honestly, I think it'll work really well for Battlefield because they're already used to, like, high-player servers and stuff like that. Um, but I'm excited for Call of Duty, too, because I think there really is a place for, like, kill streaks and stuff like that in Battle Royales. If it's done right, I don't think everybody needs to be just, you know, calling in Harriers and stuff like that after seven kills. I mean, it needs to be um, adjusted appropriately for Battle Royale gameplay and stuff can't be too overpowered and stuff like, you know. But I, I think there's a place for it, and um, I think it's, it would be interesting to see if that's the way that Call of Duty even took that. Also, I man, for the, like... I don't, there's nothing, there's no, as far as I know, there's no battle royales out there right now that you can actually do damage through, through surfaces, I think, that's one of the things that really annoys me about, um, Fortnite, is that, I, I always compare it to, like, imagine playing Halo 3, if some of you guys might not even be old enough, I don't know, but imagine playing Halo 3, and literally everybody in the server has, um, you know, hundreds of bubble shields that they can just throw down at any point, that's one thing that really annoys me about battle royale in, Fortnite is that as soon as somebody starts taking shots they just throw down a wall and even if it's wood you can't shoot through it and it takes what three four shots whatever to break it and then they can immediately place one down they can literally build faster than you can shoot so they just have infinite amounts of completely bullet resistant shields and that annoys me so one thing I'm kind of excited to see if, if if Call of Duty does a battle royale is there's all there's been bullet penetration I'm pretty sure like in every Call of Duty I'm, I haven't played the last few near as much so i can't 100 percent count uh on those but there's bullet penetration in call of duty and that's one thing that i really want in a battle royale like it's not in PUBG, it's not in any of them uh you know h1 any of that stuff i want to be able to like if i know there's a guy hiding behind a tree or a wall or whatever i want to be able to take some shots and, and do some damage to that guy obviously not as much damage as if you're not shooting them through a surface but i think bullet penetration can be very important in a battle royale game so I'm excited to see that, uh, you know, and we'll see. Maybe maybe Call of Duty and Battlefield will come out, and neither one of them will have anything to do with Battle Royale, and they'll just be normal-ass games. But we will see, because like I said, in a few days I will be at the Black Ops 4 event, the, uh, the, the reveal, and hopefully, I don't know if I get to get hands-on or not, but, you know, hopefully I do, and, you know, if I do, maybe I can bring footage back for you guys. Not sure yet, but obviously you guys will know if that is the case. So, uh, and, you know, furthermore from that, I'm, I'm looking forward to Crackdown 3. I don't even know what the release date is on that anymore. I'm hoping it's still, like, the end of this year, I believe. I know it's gotten delayed a couple times. And then we got Red Dead 2, 
which I love Western games. I played like Gun and Call of Juarez and all the other weird uh, Western shooters back in the day. I was all about those, and for some reason I never played Red Dead. So that's one thing that I really want to do is play through Red Dead before um, before Red Dead 2 comes out. So maybe I'll be doing that on stream, uploading the video, you know, uploading the same content over on my second channel. Um, not 100% sure yet, but I, I really want to play Red Dead before Red Dead 2 comes out because regardless of if I've played the first one or not, like uh, Western shooters really excite me. And I just, I don't know, I like that, that genre it is very interesting to me. So um, there's some other games coming out too that I can't really uh, think of right now. But anyways, I just wanted to turn on the mic and talk to you guys for a little bit. Hadn't really done that for a while. If you guys have been coming out to my Twitch and uh, watching me over there, I really appreciate you guys. I go live every night, no not every night. I go live six days a week, uh, five o'clock central time. And I stream for four, about four hours, so five to nine pretty much every night. Um, Monday through Saturday is, is my schedule over there. And sometimes I go live in the mornings and stuff too. And, and I know a lot of people are like, dude, I've never seen you. I, I get people all the time that'll stop by my Twitch. And they're like, I, I didn't even know you're streaming. This is my first time here, blah, 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 whatever. So if you guys want to keep up with anything like that, um, but especially my Twitch streams, I do tweet them out on Twitter every single time I go live. I'll, I'll put a link uh, on Twitter to my stream. So make sure you're following me on there. Um, also, I have a Discord. You guys need to go to discord.gg slash hova. I'll try to remember to put the link to my Discord in the description of this video. If you guys join my Discord, I actually have it set up to where you will get a, a notification on Discord every single time I upload a video to either my main or my second channel, or if I go live on Twitch. So it's a really helpful tool. We got like a thousand people over there already in my Discord server. It's a really cool community. We've got like a casino. You guys can play games. You can play like, um, you can play blackjack and slot machines and all kinds of stuff like that over in my Discord. And we just make it a really fun place. You know, um, there's voice channels that you can hang out with other fans, and you know, play play games and and it's just a really cool community. So make sure you join my Discord. And yeah, I think that's all I had to talk about. Sorry for rambling so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.